Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I thought you might like to see a couple of completions that I've done. Uh, these were sent to me by the good people at newcrafty.com and uh, yeah, they came in my February package. So if you check out uh, New Crafty's playlist in my playlists and yeah, these were at the beginning of February this year. So I'm so pleased with how they've come out. Uh, what should we look at first? Let's look at the uh, little gnome. Gonk, no, first. So look at this little chap. Isn't he absolutely gorgeous? Look at his hat with all those roses on and those little rose flowers. They're absolutely super. And I love that a pop of black and grey just to make the pink stand out more. And it really does spark. And all these little hearts as well look just sort of like cascading down as the background really enjoyed doing this one R really really made me smile this was a definite uh, hubby asking me what are you smiling at now and i said guess and he went your canvas that you're doing i said yes <laughs> i mean it's hot pink hearts all over it what can i say <laughs> Uh, the gems went down fine, plenty left over, uh, so I'll do a quick kitting down on these as well because I say there's not many of them. Uh, there's no gem codes on them, so there will just be generic ones to put away, but yeah, look at that little face. He's so pleased with himself with this little package that he's got here, but the hat as it was coming together and then once it was completed, I stood back and looked and thought, wow, I love that. Uh, to be fair, he's quite a nice shape. So if you wanted to use your flowers on a different project, you could actually cut him out the middle um, and use him on something else and put, say, a magnet on the back of him um, or put him on a card or something like that. But he will be part of my uh, Valentine next year. I was a little bit late for this year's Valentine's getting him done. Um, but yeah, I think I might just have to put him up somewhere anyway because I just love his hat. So he'll maybe go on to my spring theme or even summer. He's quite summery, isn't he, with all those roses. And we can all use a little bit of love at any time of year, can't we? <laughs> so let's have a look what gems we had left over and what we've got to kit down. Right. Okay. So we've got standard silver to go in my silver jar. And then we've got some silver hearts. And all those little roses look left over. We like spurs. And then the standard little crystal gems. We've got the red and the gold and the pink and the hot pink. I think I might have to start a jar actually with hot pink in. Yeah, it'll make me smile. And then our standard black to go in our black jar. Okay, so they'll go into the donations jar. So let's pop those into there. Okay, black jar, which this is all just um, my standard black gems. Oh, they were escaping. Look, some made a break for freedom. Goodness me. Okay, let me get these put back. Don't you be escaping. Don't you be, oh, that's a standard one as well, look, that's escaped. What's going on? Get in the jar. <laughs> oh, no. Right, so that's those in there. Then I have my bottle, my black and white whiskey bottle that I am putting all of my crystals into. So these are just the standard silver crystals. I'm not going to get my funnel out for just for these few. So we'll just pop those into there as well. Okay. So yeah, it is filling up. So I do think I'm either I'm going to put some LED lights in it and just have it as like a little decoration light. I've only kept it because it's got the Scotty on it. Look, it's got Millie Moo on the front with uh, my little my little Westie, uh, my little West Highland White Terrier, uh, Harvey, that uh, sadly went over the Rainbow Bridge over 20 years ago now. It's a long time. So, and then we've just got the pink hearts as well. So that's just the three specials to kit down there. And that wants to go in the generics. Okay. Right. And the price of this one was only £4.43 as well. With all that sparkle and all that special okay uh, just a quick plug i do have um 
a code it's not an affiliate code so i don't get any commission or anything but it's just a code that if you do buy from newcraftday.com uh, if you put liz 10 when you're checking out then uh, you'll get a 10 percent discount on your order so yay thank you new craft day okay i like to use these now because since i've printed them out i've got to use them <laughs> So then these are our placemats or large coasters or pictures or whatever you want them to be. And look at the colour on those. The shading is excellent. There is so many different colours. What did I say there was? It's 18 different colours. Yeah, I, I wrote it down. I'm trying to write things down now so that I remember. <laughs> but I just think they've come out so well. They are a little bit smaller, but I mean, you can still get um your dinner plates on them it will still raise your dinner plate from the table i am going to put uh, a cork back in on these so that we've just got that little bit of extra heat resistance there as well and these will need sealing uh, so that the gems don't move they are fairly level um but uh, one lady did say to me that her daughter uh, does resin art and she puts resin over the top of them just to make them that little bit thicker and a little bit smoother but i just do use sealer on them but I think the colours on these have come out so well. In fact, I'm even tempted to get a picture frame. I know it's um, it's maybe a strange thing to do, but actually have them as like, say, a black background or a white background. A pure white might look quite nice. And put them into a frame so that I've got them in a square frame as a set of four sort of pictures in a picture frame i think they'd look really really effective and very very different rather than just using them uh, as your placemats other than that i think they're a brilliant size coaster um hubby likes to have quite a big mug and you can buy some really really big mugs these days so i think rather than using the smaller coasters then one of these would make an excellent mug coaster as well and you do get your little stand to put them in so yay but yeah don't you think they've come out really pretty when i first saw all the colors together and even when i was putting some of the colors in them i'm thinking oh these are gonna look awful these colors don't go but when you step back now and look and see all the colours all blending in together and how they've been charted. It just looks fab. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. I mean, you know, having pale blue in the middle of the flowers, you think, well, that's not going to work. But it really, really does. Once it's all together and as a set, I think they look fab. Seems a shame to actually cover them over with a plate or a mug or anything, doesn't it? They want to be out on display. I mean, you could actually put them in your, um, if you've got little plate stands or something like that, you could just put them out as uh, like a little display. But they're so vibrant and so very, very colourful. If you've got a dull corner in the house, put some colour in it. Yay! <laughs> Uh, the price of these was £12.51 for the four pack with the stand as well. But I think these were all generic crystals. I don't think we've got any of these to put away. So let's have a look. Yeah, I put them into numbered bags as well, because when you're doing something with a lot of different colour on it, um, it's very easy to sort of like miss one. And if you've not put any numbers on the bags or you've not kitted it up, then it can then be difficult going back unless you've got a fantastic memory which i haven't uh to go back and um, find which color you actually should be putting it on so if you've got say a number 12 and you think oh heck which one was number 12 well if you've got your numbers on your bags then that's fine you can just go to bag number 12 and get a gem out and put it in the place of the one that you've missed but as i say looking at these they are all your standard crystals so they will just be going into my donations pot. Oh, look, there were so many hot pinks on this. I just wanted to keep, keep saying to hubby, hot pink, every time I came across one. But I don't think he'd have understood and he might have um, called somebody, to, you know, called the doctor and said there's something wrong with her. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just all your colours. Look how many I've got left of them all as well absolutely wonderful loving all this bright color even the greens you know three different greens just to give you that depth and shading but yeah look at these wonderful okay so as i said they will all go into my donation jar right 
so we've just got a few to put away there then so quite a quick video this one but yeah loving those actually i might seal these yeah i'll do i'll do the sealing on those as well in this video so let's do the whole job all at once sounds like a plan so i just want my special ships uh, this is all based on Rebecca Admore Zest's storage system for spare gems and I've just adapted it to put my special drills in. So we actually want two pink and one silver and they are all miscellaneous. I categorise them, all of my special shaped gems into colour order and then uh, rounds, well large rounds, marquees, teardrops and miscellaneous and hearts, flowers, stars, squares, uh, anything like that all go into miscellaneous. So silver miscellaneous is the first one that we just need to look at. Let's get that one there. Oops, silver. Oh, and I'm in gold. Oh dear, go figure. Silly Liz, so I want silver miscellaneous. Helps if you look to try and match them up in the right one, doesn't it? <laughs> I've set my own system and I don't know what I'm doing. Right, so I think it could be the first one that I've picked out there. Just double check, that's like a snowflake shape as well, look there, that I've got. And oh, we've got ovals, teeny tiny hearts, uh, rectangles and different shaped flowers and stars and all sorts in here okay so that's the miscellaneous ones right so this one has actually got um well actually it's it's a large heart but it's actually got um it's actually got the middle missing out of it it looks as though um it's just been a faulty one so i've just left that in rather than putting it in a bag on its own i've just left it in with the smaller hearts uh, just so it's got some company <laughs> i don't like things being on their own <laughs> oh dear yeah maybe hubby will be calling the doctor for me <laughs> Okay, and then the others are just the pink ones. So pink, I know, is definitely over here. And miscellaneous pink, we have a lot of miscellaneous pink. Oh, looks like they're the first ones I've picked up as well there. So let's see if we've got those roses. And are they the same ones? Yes, they are. So uh, we've got uh, little uh, round ones with printed stars on hearts, ovals, little hot pink flowers hot pink ovals and look at all those squares i love those Do you know i keep trying to think where i got those from because i've got so many must have been a project that i've done or maybe didn't do and just kept the gems anyway have to try and remember that <laughs> maybe look through some of my own old videos and see where i got them from right so we'll just pop these into here okay there you go, chaps, join your friends. In you go. And then the flowers into the flowers. Okay, and in you go. Let's go into there. So I think that's one of the quickest kitting downs I've ever done. <laughs> I'll just get my glass mat out to uh, use for my sealer and we'll have a go at sealing these. Okay, I, I don't uh, very often seal pictures because most of my pictures um, will actually go into a frame of some description. So unless it's going into somewhere hot and steamy like a kitchen or a bathroom or whatever, they don't really need sealing. I've never had any gems come off any of my pictures um, just from being hung on the wall. So, yeah, as I say, I tend not to seal anything that's uh, just a general picture that's going on the wall. But uh, anything that's going to be handled and used, then I do use my sealer. Right, so I want my trusty sealer brush and um, this is just an acrylic brush and I find that these once you wash them out still stay as good as ever so I like those. I've got my plastic tweezers so I can hang on to them um, without them moving and uh, without getting my hands uh, full of a sealer and then I just want my sealer. 
Okay. And this is the Craft Buddy Crystal Art Sealer, uh, 150ml. I still find milliliter for milliliter that this is the best value one. And this is the one I like to use as much as anything because it is um, white. So it goes on white, but it dries completely clear. And everything, once it's dry, will be completely shiny as well. You don't lose any sparkle or it doesn't make anything dull from using the sealer on them. I say just, if anything, I think it sometimes makes them a little bit shinier. So, yay! So let's get on with these and have a go at doing them. And then I just leave them over overnight to dry so that uh, it sort of hardens what you're basically doing is um, rather than covering over the top as such you put in the sealer into uh, in between the gems so that it's like grouting tiles you're sticking the gems together by putting the sealer in between you can if you want to wipe off the excess over the top of the gems with a dry baby wipe or a lint free cloth but I've never found that I've needed to do that. I tend to um, literally just leave them to dry and everything's been fine. So, yeah. So put uh, quite a bit on, but not too much. Um, I always start off with smaller amounts because you can always add, but it's difficult to take away if you've got a lot on. But uh, it does spread a long way. A little does spread a long way. These actually have tacky edges as well as the glue's gone on to them um, for putting the gems on. So I just like to get it right over the edges as well. When I do the coasters, I do do the back of the coasters as well and the edges. These, because they're not as likely to have sort of like liquid on them that's likely to drip, um, I might not do that or I might, I'll have to see. I'll have to have a think about what I'm actually going to do with them. Um, I'm very much thinking about putting them into that frame because I do think I quite uh, would like to be able to see them because I think they're so pretty and I just love the happy colours on them. All nice and bright and vibrant because it's such a dull day again here in the UK. Just for a change. Okay, so it is just literally a case of working it in. Don't be too rough with your brush. But you don't really need to be that gentle either. It's not something that um, if you touch it, the gems are all going to pop off. What I tend to do as well, I've got um, a roller, like, well, it's we used to call them speedball brayers uh, when I was doing my card making. But it's like a, a rubber roller and I roll over the top just to make sure all the gems are flat before I put the sealer on. And then you find that all the gems are stuck down, so you should be okay. Uh, always double check as well that you have got all your gems uh, you have got all your gems on otherwise uh, well to be fair you can put them on afterwards uh, you can use your sealer if uh, you suddenly find you've missed a gem or there's a part of your canvas that's not sticky you can just use a little bit of sealer to stick your gems down with um, but yeah it's always better to not have to do <laughs> Okay, whoops, just get right onto those edges and give it a full coverage. As I say, some of the sealers that you can get are completely clear. Now, personally, I find those difficult to use um, because I forget where I've been. As you can see, there's no rhyme or reason particularly to how I put this on. I usually start in the middle and work my way out. Um, but other than that, I tend to try and go around and try and do the full coverage. But uh, yeah, I do like the fact, oh, one's just popped up there. So let me just grab my tweezers and I've just been and pop that back into place. Okay. All right. So that's the first one done. So, yep, let's do the next one. As I say, I tend to... They tend to start drying. By the time I've finished doing the other three, that one will have started to dry and will have started to go sort of clear again. But uh, I tend to like to leave them overnight so that they're completely set. Okay. Right, yeah, as I say, I prefer this one with it being white so I can see where I've been. <laughs> like when you're painting a ceiling and you're painting white on white it can be really difficult to see where you've actually been if you can't see the difference <laughs> 
suppose I could put my hand on it and see if it's wet, but that's not ideal either. <laughs> oh dear. So a bit of everything this video then. We've done a little bit of a review, a little bit of a kitting down. And now we're doing a sealer just to finish it all off. So this is what I normally do with uh, my kits anyway. So you're actually getting to see nearly start to finish. Yeah, and I only uh, actually got these at the beginning of February. So I've done them quite quickly and uh, yeah, get them reviewed and then you can get them used. Excellent. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely thinking about doing that picture. Might have to get a frame. If I do do that, I will let you see it. Um, I am going to try and show as much as possible on the channel now as to what I'm doing. Because I have just got that little bit of extra freedom, that little bit of extra time. While I uh, can do my crafting and things. Who needs to do housework, eh? <laughs> Oh dear, uh, it's a good job that I didn't have uh, the video running, or maybe you'd like to see it, I don't know. But um, the mechanisms going on my chair, I've got like an office chair that I've had for years. Because um, I, you know, I used to spend hours up here crafting and things when I was card making and everything. And um, it's got one of those, you know, like a lever so that it um, pumps up and uh, can go up and down and you can set it at whatever height you want well i usually like to have it at quite a high height because i've got very long legs uh but it is actually going so i'll start off sat quite high up and then usually by the time i finish filming a video i'm practically sat on the floor well the lever's a little bit loose as well and uh, millie moo came into the craft room earlier and caught the lever and i sort of um, suddenly ended up practically sat on the floor now that would have been really funny if it had been on camera <laughs> yeah me suddenly going whoop and disappearing <laughs> oh dear but no fortunately i wasn't drinking my cup of tea at the time either otherwise i think we'd have all had a bath <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, she's going to need a bath as well. She's been out in something and she's rolled. Um, it's not fox poo, fortunately, because that has its own exceptionally pungent smell. Uh, you have to buy extra shampoo, extra special shampoo that takes fox poo off because it really has got a strong scent. But uh, she, it, it, to be honest, it looks like mud. It looks like she's maybe found a scent and rolled over the top and it's been muddy there as well. It's not anything uh, other than that, fortunately. Uh, we have had other things. Um, cow pats are quite a famous one as well. Yeah, she, uh, but she, she tends... She's not really a roly dog as such. She doesn't really do lots. Mind you, we usually stop her. But uh, yes, what do I do for a reason? Um, when she came home today I gave her a little cuddle and I noticed that all on her neck and all on her back she's got little streaks of mud so yeah she'll be having a good wipe down or a bath later on yeah she nearly had a tea bath <laughs> oh dear all right just get right into the corners and right onto the edges okay just keep working it and i don't know whether you need to go over it as i do but i tend to find that i like to sort of work it in a little bit so that i'm getting every little last bit of it covered so i don't miss any bits i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest um sealing more than once either if you find you've missed a bit then just go back and uh, do that part you know after you've after it's dried and just do that part but I do think if you start putting more than one coat of your sealer on that you may find it starts building up and you may, because it's thick, start losing a little bit of your sparkle from underneath because it's just getting too thick and the light won't sort of like show through it quite so much. Um, you get more of a coating, uh, more of a thick coating than an actual sort of seal as it were. So, yeah. Okay, put that on there, right, I think we've done that one, so, so it doesn't take a huge amount of time, it's something that um, I did use to leave them and do them all at once, and I do find that I tend to do that quite a bit, 
uh, rather than getting all my sealer out and then having to find somewhere for everything to dry but uh, yeah because I've been doing some sealing and uh, I have done a previous sealing video before this one I thought well uh, I've got everything out already I may as well do these and it saves me putting them in a pile and then forgetting about them let's get them done while we're here yay is that uh, a new me do you think do things as I go along rather than leaving them <laughs> oh I don't know I'd like to think so but you never know Things don't tend to run smoothly, particularly for us. Um, we seem to sort of like go so long and think everything's okay and everything's doing fine. And then the next thing we know, something happens and all our plans and everything go out the window. Oh dear. And we end up uh, having to do other things. And things like crafting and diamond painting and videoing just goes out the window for a little bit. But then we always come back. <laughs> Okay, let's give this a good work in there, get those all sealed. Okay, oh we were watching uh, Dogs Behaving Badly again last night. Uh, we do like that programme, uh, uh, Millie just sits and looks and uh, she does have a good woof every now and again at the dogs but it's really really funny. It's a very clever chap in the UK that uh, goes and trains the people really. I won't say trains the dogs because really he's training the people on how to uh, manage the dogs which I'd hate to think what he'd do if he came here the way we spoil Millie. <laughs> right. Okay so I will leave those four to dry now and uh, yeah I'll end the video here. So, thank you ever so much for uh, watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this little chat and uh, this sort of like start to finish of completed videos, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to go and check out New Craft Day and uh, use the discount code. I think 10% is excellent. Okay, if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and hopefully subscribe to the channel, then if you pop, press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.